Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rich Reviews, the best supercar channel on the internet. Today's video is sponsored by Rich Reviews. Rich Reviews now provides services to support our viewers in purchasing their own dream supercar. Our services currently include pre-purchase inspection, support calls and collection video to document you collecting your own dream supercar. More information in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video guys. So today we're going to give you an update on the brake recall. Now the UK had a brake recall and the US had a brake recall as well. I think it was international brake recall, but we know about the US and we know about the UK brake recall for 458 models, 488 models and down, some downstream variants as well. Now this brake recall was, was ID C24000078. Yeah, it's sad I remember that number, I know. But what this brake recall was related to was brake fluid um, or brake failure due to brake fluid leaking or, or being pressured out between the master cylinder reservoir and the brake booster system. Now the way how they rectified this, if I just remove the cap on my 458, was by changing the cap, changing this part. This is the new cap. This is, there was a recall and during the recall, this item was replaced. So the old cap was replaced for this item. Now what the problem was, just to give you a bit of a, a recap, excuse the pun, they noticed that the problem was that the, the previous cap didn't allow pressure release. Pressure has to go somewhere, so the pressure forced the fluid out between the brake reservoir and the brake booster. There are seals there and it forced, um, um, and in effect, break that seal between those two components and brake fluid leaked out and you had brake failure. Now they resolved that by replacing the cap with a cap that enables brake fluid to seep out and, and for the pressure to release through the cap and, and obviously brake fluid to, to release through the cap if it comes up too high. Now if you look at this, I'm going to get brake fluid all over my hands now. It's actually got a spongy bit in the, middle, in the middle. The last one was actually quite solid. And what happens is fluid is pulled up. If fluid hits this bottom of this cap through the pressure in the system, then it actually um, fills up, I believe, into this like pipette suction system. And then it, it comes out through one of the slots there. There's a slot in the side of the cap. So the fluid is released through the side of the threads through this side slot in the cap. And now where the fluid goes, if you get a fluid overspill, is by design, these reservoirs have this ledge, this captive ledge. And this is a mini reservoir in itself. So if fluid overflows, it falls in this section, so it's retained within this section. Obviously, if you have too much overflow, then it will over, overspill this, but this is by design. This is what this lip is designed for. So, with regards to the update, some of us, including myself, have noticed that there has been some brake fluid overspill. Um, as you can see from this image, there is brake fluid overflow into this reservoir area. Now, my logic tells me that, or my logic told me, that this was one of two reasons. Number one, because the brake fluid reservoir had potentially been overfilled by the dealer when the, during the recall process, or, or and number two, the cap was badly designed and it was, it was um, in effect releasing pressure too early. But I, I have an update regarding that. Um, my car went into Dick Lovitz today, into my dealership. Thanks again, Dick Lovitz, for looking after me. Um, just to have it assessed, and I, I detailed to them my perceptions, um, which actually they agreed that my logic was most probably sound. The, I had a chat with the engineer who looked at my car and he said, yes, he said, I'm, I was right in that probably the brake fluid reservoir had been overfilled and that's why the fluid had overflowed into this reservoir area. They said that they have noticed this on other 458 models um, and it is common practice. Um, so if you've had overspill into this area, as, per, as you can see on this image, then don't worry about it. It shouldn't be a problem. I should caveat this by saying I'm not a Ferrari mechanic. I don't know your particular system, but if you had the brake recall and you're getting an overflow in this section, and almost certainly it's because your reservoir, your reservoir was slightly overfilled. So what I recommend you do is take the cap off, get some toilet paper, or some wipes of some sort, some absorbent wipes, mop up the brake fluid, the overflow brake fluid around this area. It will, it will have come to this forefront section because there is a slope forward on this device. And then mop it up from there. And then what I would recommend you to do is remove a little bit of brake fluid if the brake fluid level is very high. 
then remove some of the brake fluid and then try again and then see if, it, if you get that issue again. Because in effect, what seems to be happening is just by the fluid rising from when you press when you press hard on the brake pedal the fluid will slightly rise up and there isn't that tolerance there if they've overfilled the brake fluid reservoir so just remove a little bit of the brake fluid um, and then you should be okay so just to summarize i'm not a ferrari mechanic but i have done my own mechanics before and i'm a, I'm a technical person so i understand logic speaking to the engineers at dick lovitz that was my problem. It was an overfill on the reservoir and it just seeped out through the cap. So pretty sure that's the same situation a lot of you guys are having because I know from speaking on, on a lot of the social media systems um, that a lot of you are having the same problem. So mop up the brake fluid because you don't want it to overspill into the back areas down here because it's very corrosive. Brake fluid is very corrosive. It will take the paint off, it will damage your carpets, etc. But it'll only be a little bit that's overspilled. Take the cap off, mop it up, Take a little bit of your brake fluid out if your brake fluid um, level is too high and then you should be good to go. So it would seem there's nothing to worry about. By the way, you put this cap back, you put that thick ledge back into this slot, first of all, like so. Then you push, this is, this is pressurized, so you push on this side and it locates back in. So that's the way you remove it as well. You push on this side and then lever it out and pull it out. So I hope that's been helpful, guys. I hope it's alleviated some of your fears with regards to brake fluid overflow that you're getting post the recall. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing and we'll see you in the next video.